Hey, hello there, <clears throat> everybody. This is um, Ramon El Magnifico coming to you from my home in Alexandria, Virginia. I did it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am in Seattle, Washington. God, I miss being in Alexandria, Virginia. That used to roll out of the tongue so easily. <laughs> again, I am in Seattle, Washington. Hmm. And I'm coming to you on this Saturday. Because I recently watched a video from Aristocab. Hi, Scott. And um, it didn't necessarily um, make me want to generate a VR response. Especially because I've already replied to him on, on his channel directly on the video that, that, that I saw. Um, and Scott was talking about um, the risks of pipe smoking to your health. And... Um, how they may affect us pipe smokers essentially what I said is that I, I agree with what he said on his video um, it's just that uh, check this out Star Trek This is one of those quote-unquote magic mugs that uh, change when you pour a hot liquid into it and um, shows the stars in, in the uh, Starship Enterprise D. What's I talking about? Oh yeah, smoking in our health. So uh, Scott was saying that someone had reached out to him, actually, in fact, a few someone had reached out to him about uh, pipe smoking and, and risk and how someone had gone as far as saying that he would feel sorry for his niece and nephew. when they get cancer and man what a horrible thing to say to someone uh, whoever this person was that posted that you should be ashamed of yourself man I can for some reason ever since I started making my videos I cannot seem to light my pipe correctly so that it lasts as I smoke uh, on camera. Weird, I know. Anyways. Before I'm on the camera though, smoking just fine. Anyways. So what I'm, I, I was saying is that, you know, uh, when I started smoking, um, by smoking, I should say, because uh, don't tell my mom, but I actually smoked from a, low, a younger age. Bad influences and all, and um, uh, so I smoked when I was very young. Nobody tell my mom, seriously. <laughs> um, and uh, as, you know, when I started working uh, in my 20s, I uh, smoked out of stress uh, and so on and so forth. I, I was never one that, you know, I, I wouldn't say, you know, that I was addicted to smoking because I could I could stop at any time. Um, but that nicotine rush, man, always felt good in moments of stress. So, in fact, when I started smoking a pipe... I had completely stopped smoking cigarettes. 
uh, and that was uh, what five years ago maybe a little bit longer than that and it wasn't until I moved to Seattle and, and came into a, a, a stressful job em environment when I actually picked up the cigarettes again because <clears throat> I was I, I was not allowed the time to to enjoy a pipe even a small pipe um, during breaks uh, because break break times and all of that stuff had, had changed for me and 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 things of that nature uh, so it was easier to smoke a cigarette but I went with the um, natural cigarettes and I guess I should uh, uh, give them a plug since um, American Spirit uh, and I usually went with the blue. <clears throat> um, so the thing about those is that they're they're not treated. They don't have chemicals um, added to them like you know all cigarettes, like all the Marlboros have chemicals in them, and that's essentially what's what's even more harmful to 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 our health. Um, so I forgot that this was out. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, it, it sometimes it feels good just to hold it, you know. Um, I have to figure out why is it that once I start smoking on camera, I'm not able to do it anymore. Uh, maybe I'm out of practice. I don't know. Anyways, uh, because you saw it was it was smoking when I started the video, and then once I started talking, I think it it went out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing something wrong. Oh um, well, let me at least show you what I'm smoking. Um, it's a Baracini red. Can you guys see that? Um, you know. I actually like this pipe. I, I, I like the shape of it. Um, got it from Pipes and Cigar while I was still in Virginia. Um, uh, and in, in it, I'm smoking, or I was smoking, uh, trying to smoke, um, Lane 1Q. Anyways, I don't want this video to, to, to be that long, but uh, bottom line is, I don't know why people have, feel the need to be mean about providing unrequested advice. Uh, nobody told this person, you know, if, if this person had reached out to Scott um, and said, you know, hey, you know, I don't think smoking is, is, is good for your health, blah, blah, blah. That's one thing. But the fact that, you know, this person told Scott just because he watched him uh, in, in, in some video with, with his niece and nephew to say that, you know, you're going to feel sorry when they get cancer, man. That's just mean. Be nice. People, they, that's the problem with the world we live in, in nowadays. That's the problem with something that social media has done. Um, made us mean, man. Want, want, don't be a dick. Pardon my language, but don't be a dick. That should be everybody's top priority. Be nice to each other. Love one another. Um, you know, that's, that's, I'm a big guy. I know it. I'm fluffy. Um, actually, I, I think I'm, I've gone into the uh, damn territory. Uh, taking a fluffy's <laughs> uh, points there, um, but you know, so that's another thing. You know, people feel the need to say, "Oh, you know, you should go to the diet. Uh, it's not bad for, it's not good for you to be that big." I'm like, oh, "No shit, doctor, idiot! You don't think doctors have been telling me that my whole life?" Uh, and you know, that's another thing. I've gone up and down in my weight. Shoot, uh, when I was making videos, I was a lot thinner than I am now. Oh, thinner, huh? Um, but you know, I found I found a woman who who knew how to cook, knew how to bake, so we we got fat together. So unfortunately, that relationship didn't last, and I haven't been able to get rid of the weight. Um, uh, but anyways, so you know, just because you don't think something is is good, you know, and you want to tell someone about it, you know, just be nice. Don't threaten somebody. Don't 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 make them feel like they're nothing. We're all human beings. We all have emotions. Um, and you know, we're all adults. That's another thing that Scott said. We're all adults. We've made this decision uh, 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 You know because we know what's good or bad for us and pipe smoking uh, is, Granted it still has a lot of risk and Scott mentioned this as well um, And that was one of the things that I told him in, in, in my comment to his video is that you know Hey, when I started pipe smoking, I, I, I did some research and found out that yeah Well, there's still some risk to pipe smoking it's not as risky as, as smoking all those chemicals from cigarettes. So, you know, unfortunately, all the tobacco stuff gets slumped into one thing with cigarettes. Um, so, you know, I started smoking a pipe and I'm not going to stop anytime soon.
it's relaxing. Okay, it, it, I, it's it, it's it makes you feel good. So, but anyways, um, like I said, I don't want this to get too long. I don't I don't want to be editing it, editing it this for ever. Um, so yeah, just just you know, just be nice. Um, and and if you're underage, uh, don't smoke. That's it. I don't think Scott has ever uh, encouraged anybody underage. In fact, he says in his video, I have never encouraged anybody who's underage. In fact, the reason I'm back making YouTube videos is because my 12 year old cousin, yeah, 12 year old cousin, you know, loves the movie stuff that I used to make and he encouraged me to, to, to make videos again. Um, and, and he's seen the YouTube pipe community videos that I have like this one. And I've never said to him that he should start smoking. God, no, you know, nobody underage should smoke, drink, or do anything that they're not legally allowed to do. Um, so I don't encourage that. Don't don't smoke if you're underage, whatever you're from. Um, and just be nice to one another. Love one another. Uh, the world would be a, a much better place if we just love one another. Um, don't be a dick. Seriously. Uh, anyways, that's all the rambling I'm going to do. And I'm going to uh, go and let out my pop again and, and, and enjoy the rest of it. So that's it. That's all I got to say here from Seattle, Washington in my home. This is El Magnifico Saint. Till I see you again, may God bless you all. So long. Thanks for all the fish. Ciao.